What's up guys, if you're interested in getting into the data science field, you're really going to want to check out this video. I'm going to be going over my personal story of how I got into the field. And trust me, it wasn't a smooth road. I wasn't Mr. 4.0 GPA. I didn't have an internship from a prestigious place or and any crazy endorsements or anything that just promoted me there. I really had to grind for it. And I kind of did start at the bottom. So I'm going to be going that through. Please remember to like and subscribe because I'm giving you a lot of good information here. So let's get right into it. So I would say I didn't even know what data science was until about my fourth year in college, which was, um, I guess you would call it my first senior year because it took your boy five years to graduate. So when I was a senior, when was when the year that most people graduate, I actually didn't even know what a data science was. I figured it out that year. And from then I decided to just pursue it but it was a long path to get there. When I actually started my college career, I started off trying to become a Mechie, and then for a brief time after that, I pretended I could be a physicist and tried to major in physics, which did not last long at all. So how on earth did I get into data science after all that? Well, going back to me being a Mechie, it started when I didn't pass the gateway classes to actually become a Mechie. So I was left having taking a bunch of math classes. And then when I tried to be a physics major, I also took more math classes. So pretty much when I was looking to change my major again, this time for the third time, I was pretty much all very limited in my options. I couldn't do other things like psychology, sociology, other things like that, econ, because I had already taken so many STEM classes that I would pretty much have to start in the beginning for those programs and I would never graduate. So the only thing I really could find to major in was math. So I decided to become a math major, not because I knew what data science was, not because I saw this bright future for me, because I felt like I had nothing else that I could do. And also math was always my best subject. It was the thing that pretty much actually brought up my GPA. So I figured why not major in that and take as many of those classes as I can. And now moving on a few more semesters, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this math degree. I know I don't wanna be a teacher, which is what a lot of people with math degrees do. I already ruled that out. So I'm looking into the other things and as I'm looking the two jobs that come up the most are actuarial science and data science. And at first I was actually pretty set on being an actuary. I joined the actuarial society at my school. We helped to grow to a lot more people. And I started studying to take actuarial exams. And I started taking classes for actuaries like financial mathematics, probability, things like that. But then thinking about it, I realized that I did not want to become an actuary just because of how long it actually takes. So you can actually get become an associate actuary maybe out of college, but you're gonna need to pass these tests in order to become a full-fledged actuary. And you probably won't get hired to be your first, you probably won't get hired for your first actuarial position until you pass at least one. And studying for each test is like studying for the SFTs all over again, except it's only math. And actuaries work in the insurance industry. And do I have a passion for insurance? No, I mean, I don't really think anybody does this. Somebody, when you're a kid, do you dream about working in insurance? No. I started looking more into data science and from there, I pretty much fell in love with the position. I started looking at the things that they do, which is pretty much get insight from complex information. And I realized that every single company has data. So every single company is going to need data scientists to handle that data and extract information for them. That means you could work in the insurance sector, but you could also work in finance, you could work at sports analytics, you can work in the hotel industry there. You can work in any industry there is because every company is going to have data. So it's a very versatile position. And I'm somebody who actually does get bored easily. So I know in my career, I'm going to move around a lot, I already have. So it's something that will always keep me interested. And the things that come with being a data scientist is advanced mathematics, statistics, which are things that I actually enjoy, and coding, which at the time was a whole new realm for me. And it was something that I found to be very stimulating and actually very enjoyable. And also just being very valued, the, the pay is great, and being able to give back a lot to these companies is what made me want to be a data scientist. So this was all good and well. Now I know what I want to do, but the next part comes the grind. The part where I actually had to work for it because 
My GPA wasn't that high. I think I actually ended up graduating with about a 2.9 or something like that. Um, at the time when I declared my math major, I probably had like a 2.5 or 6 or something like that. But I, it became time to grind. I began looking at all different job applications and seeing what data scientists need to be able to do, what skills they need. I started learning to code. I started enrolling in classes that would help me become a better data scientist like time series analysis and I started learning about machine learning and other algorithms. So I started taking courses on Coursera, I started learning Python also on Coursera and EDX, I started learning R also, I started doing my own projects. My first project just for show was actually just an analysis about LeBron, Kobe, and Michael Jordan, which is something that I'm just very passionate about. I love sports and it was something that I was able to use to showcase to jobs. And I started learning about machine learning things all at once. Now this didn't just take a month, a week, it actually probably took years when you th really think about it. Because my last year in college, I actually was able to get an internship on campus. And it was a, a newly formed team, it was like the data science interns team, it was me and two other people. And that's when I first got exposed to data science, so I started working closely with them, getting my skills up. We were working exclusively with R, um, and we were working for the admissions department, we were making a model to predict the probability of a student enrolling in the school given that they were admitted. So I worked there for a year, got my experience, and then I started looking for data science jobs. Unfortunately, that search was brutal because, like I said, GPA wasn't that great. Um, GPA wasn't that great, and a lot of data science positions required you to already have a lot of experience. So I started researching again, how can I break through this data science position, and I found one of the best ways to do it, a way that I always talk about, is becoming a data analyst first. So I applied to data analyst positions, and I finally found one in Columbia, Maryland, a digital marketing company took it and it was my only job offer at the time, but it gave me the experience that I needed. I was able to learn SQL there, which is probably the most important thing that I learned. I got experience with Tableau and a little more experience with R and just overall data analysis and a little bit, even a little bit of machine learning and modeling experience. So I worked there for a year and a half. After that year and a half, I was finally able to start applying to data science positions and I finally landed a full data science position about a year and a half later at Hilton in um, McLean. So if you look back on the journey, I mean, it honestly took maybe about three years from knowing what a data scientist is to actually becoming one. So there was the time where I was in school where I was working towards getting that internship to the time I finally got that internship on campus as a data scientist. That was about a year. And then being able to work as a data analyst for about a year and a half to finally landing that data science position, that entry level data science position. Finally, it took about three years for me to do that. So it was a grind, don't get me wrong, but um, now that I'm here, it was definitely worth it, and it's definitely doable for ev everyone out there. If you are if you want to get in data science, like don't let anybody tell you it's impossible. Yes, it's hard. Um, it is difficult, but it is also doable, and there's a very clear road from anybody that wants to get in there. And I like to talk about my experience because I was never Mr. 4.0. I was never Mr. Internship at LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever. I, I didn't have a computer science background. I'm all self-taught and I was still able to get here. You know, if you really want it, you just you can go out and get it. So really, what I'm really trying to do with this channel is help you guys out there that are still trying to break through or maybe you've broken through and you want to keep elevating but there always is a way to get through. I wanna help you guys find that. So keep pushing, pushing, pushing. And if you're interested, if you're trying to take the data analyst route, I'll link my video here that shows about why you should be a data analyst to become a data scientist and why it's well worth it, why it worked for me, and why it can work for you too. Peace out, adios, deuces.